Okay, hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope if you're new and I'm super excited that you're joining me today. I thought it would be kind of fun to go through and show you guys what I thrifted recently for fall. I've kind of collected everything from a couple different places. I've done online thrifting, other places like Goodwill, Savers, and then I also have some things that around me that are from estate sales and garage sales and stuff like that. I love watching other people's videos like this, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys what I got. This is kind of all spread out around me, so bear with me, but we're gonna try to go in order of like a category type thing, but I want to start off strong. So let's start with this leather jacket. I found it at an estate sale, I think like a week or so ago. It's from Wilson's House of Suede and Leather, and I love this jacket so much. I've been looking everywhere for a brown leather jacket, but I didn't really want to pay full price for one or find one in a store. I always prefer to thrift most of my clothing. So when I found this, I was so excited. I debated whether or not I should do some sort of like leather dye on top of it to make it a bit darker, but I think I'm just going to keep the original color. It is pretty worn in, so I had to go through and kind of do some sewing on here. Here. I just sew some of the buttons back on and stuff like that. But other than that, it's like good as new. And by good as new, I mean that it is still completely wearable and it's definitely going to be a massive staple of mine this fall. I'm always really big into layering clothing, so I can definitely see styling this with some jeans and then just like a tank top underneath. I feel like that's definitely how I'm gonna wear it this fall. But yeah, that's my first little thrifted piece. I got that at an estate sale. I think it was like $10. Next up in the jacket category is this one from Notations. This one's like a dark brown patterned overcoat jacket type thing. It just kind of looks like this and it's really soft, which I really liked. Again, like I said, I'm really big on layering pieces during the fall. I feel like that's just what works best for me. If I get hot, I can take it off. So that's kind of what I usually think of. And I honestly just really like this pattern, which I think is why I ultimately got it. This was from ThreadUp. I think I paid like $4.50 for it, somewhere around that range. It got shipped out to me along with a few other items within like a week and a half or so. So I definitely would recommend ThreadUp if you're looking to do a little online thrifting, which speaking of, something I wanted to do this year was kind of experiment with online thrifting just because I really like that I was able to filter through some of my searches and it just makes it easier to find what you're looking for. And so if you're wondering if you should check out some online thrift stores or even things like Mercari or Poshmark, I would definitely try it out. I think what you have to do is ask yourself, do you think it's going to look like that in person? Because I know that sometimes the images or the photos and stuff don't really do it justice or maybe make it look better than it actually is. So I usually go for things that I think I can't go wrong with. This was one of those where I was like, okay, it's a jacket. I like the pattern and it is a little bit faded, but I I think it's something that will just kind of look worn and kind of nicer during the fall. Now moving on to some cardigans and other style tops like that. I got this red one or this burgundy one. It's also from ThreadUp and it has this really pretty beaded kind of front closure to it. I love wearing cardigans during the fall so I think that I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this one. It does also have this little ribbon in the front to actually close it and then it has one of those little clasp closure things that you can just kind of lock on and it'll keep it closed. But yeah I think that one's super cute. I also got this white one with, I don't know if you would call it fringe or what the word for it would be, like maybe tassels or something. This brand is called Surf Gypsy. I got it in a size large. For reference, everything I wear is a large on top, if not an extra large, if I want like a more oversized fit. And then bottoms, I usually wear a size 10, which we'll get into a little bit later. But this cardigan is so cute. I really think it's one of those transition pieces. I can see layering it over a tank top or something, or even layering it underneath like the jacket that I got or something, just so the little tassels part sticks out. I think that would be like a cute accent to an outfit. Fit, but I liked it because it gives me a little bit of arm coverage without being too hot. It's a pretty lightweight top, so I think that this would be good just in the months leading up to it being colder here. I live in Vegas, so it's not really cold yet. I think it's still like 80 to 90 degrees, so I wanted something that I can start to wear to make it feel a little bit like fall, that I can also continue wearing into fall when it gets colder by wearing stuff over it, if that makes sense. But yeah, I really like that one. I think it's super cute. Oh, and that was also from ThreadUp in case I didn't mention it. The next top I got is this long sleeve purple maroonish color top and I really loved the front details to it. I think that that's so pretty. This is from Lucky Brand and it's also a size large. I think this is one of those things that will just kind of go with anything. I can see wearing it with like a long midi skirt or something or jeans. But yeah, just another long sleeve top to add to my fall collection. And the last top I got is from the brand Finizo. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, but it's basically this see-through black overshirt. I thought that this pattern was really pretty. I found this one at Goodwill, I think it was. And and I can just see myself wearing this over maybe a long sleeve top for later in the fall or even just like a tank top for the current state of fall. It's giving me a really Halloween witchy type vibe, which I really like for fall. But yeah, I think this is going to be another cute layering piece that I can kind of just mess around with. I looked next to me and there is one more top. I lied. That wasn't the last one. This one is so cute. I love this one so much. I found this one at Savers. The brand is More by Layla and it is also a size large. I just think the style of this is so cute. It has kind of button closures all along along the 
fronts and then it almost has some sort of corset style pullback on the back side i think it just kind of cinches your waist in while also letting the sleeves and other parts of the shirt still be kind of flowy but this top just screams fall to me so i thought it would be a cute one to add in i also really love all these little flower details i think those are super cute okay that is it for all my shirts moving on to two purses that i got i picked this one up at another estate sale i went to a few weeks ago it was the same day that i got the leather jacket so it was just a really big leather day for me it's this burgundy dark red bag that has two closures on it plus a zipper pouch in the middle kind of looks like that inside i have been keeping my notebooks i've been keeping my ipad in here i mean there's just tons of stuff that fits inside i'll usually put things like my wallet and stuff inside the zipper pouch and then use the outer pouches for things that i'm like throwing in and out like maybe my phone or like reusable bags or something i got this one for a dollar at that estate sale which i was super excited about this next bag is another one that i found at thread up i got it in the same order of the other clothes that i showed you guys it's all gold hardware and i just thought it was a super cute front of the bag i really like the style of it it also has this other strap that i use most of the time i don't really use the short straps as much it has a zipper closure which i really like i don't really like using bags that don't have any sort of zipper closure it just makes me feel like things are gonna fall out so i really like that it has that inside and then inside of it, it has this pretty like floral print to it which i thought was cute this has honestly become one of my most used bags and i've only had it for a few weeks now definitely see myself using this a lot in the future i believe it was about 11 dollars on thread up for reference oh and the brand is called naturalizer okay and the next category is jeans now i had to get a couple new pairs this year just because i don't fit in some of my old ones i wear a size 10 and everything for reference this first pair i am so so in love with it just has this beautiful beading at the bottom of the pants it's on both legs and i just think it is so gorgeous i think they're like boot cut or flare they're definitely bigger at the bottom but yeah i just love that pair i definitely know that i'm gonna get a lot of use out of that one the next one is from the brand nine west vintage america this is their vintage straight 30 tens but they're just a basic pair of dark wash jeans i believe these are mid-rise i don't think they're high-rise which i don't really mind and then they just go straight all the way down i really just got these because i wear a lot of dark blue denim in the fall and my other pair didn't fit me so this is the new pair and this is also your reminder to buy new clothes if you need them your body isn't meant to fit into clothes the clothes are meant to fit your body and once i started to really believe that myself i think that life got a lot better the next pair is from heritage it's their bootcut jean again size 10 30 this one's definitely a darker wash which i think will be really nice for all the clothes that i got during fall and they are bootcut jeans which i actually really like i think i've been getting back into them plus they're just really comfortable so that is a win-win but i think that pretty much covers my jeans now i have one decorative pair i have one like blue wash jean and then one dark one and that's pretty much all i need the last thing i wanted to show you guys are two shoes that i got this first pair was from savers they're from the brand cloud walkers by avenue and they're just these little brown clogs i think they're super cute i love the little detail on the front of them i thought that that was a really cute touch they're super comfortable and the soles look brand new so i definitely think i'm going to be able to get a lot of good wear out of them and the final item in my thrift haul are these brown tall boots let me zip them up real quick Okay, I got these brown boots off of ThreadUp. I think they came out to like $6 or something. They don't have a brand name that I can see, but they are a size 10. And they're just kind of a tall brown boot with enough space up here for your calf to move around and stuff. They're not super fitted, which is what I really liked, but I thought that that would be a good addition to my fall closet. I could definitely see myself wearing them a lot with like mini skirts or even longer skirts. I have a black pair back here that I wear all the time, but I didn't have a brown one, so I am glad to finally add that to my closet. But that's everything I added added to my closet this fall. Let me know what your favorite piece was if you have one. And also let me know if you've tried out online thrifting or maybe estate sailing. Let me know what your favorite of all those are. I definitely think I'm leaning towards estate sales just because I feel like I find the best pieces there. But online thrifting is also really convenient, so I'm kind of torn. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.